Hi, I'm Jeff Vogel and I own a Bernina dealership and I get asked oh, many times how and when and how often to oil your Bernina sewing machine. So today we're going to go over some of my suggestions on what I like to have done. First, I like to have you oil your machine every two full bobbins full of thread. That's very important to keep the hook area uh, lubricated and your machine running properly. You run your machine all the time so you know when it sounds strange that it needs some help. Second, you want to use a very high quality sewing machine oil. You don't want to use gun oil, you don't use 3-in-1 oil, no WD-40, and spray Crisco is a no-no. Honest, I've seen it in the machine. And you don't ever want to oil a dirty area, you want to brush out the lint first. I sell a perfect needle tip bottle for this purpose. It's a two ounce bottle of oil and it will last you a long time. It has a special tip on it so it will never leak. It's perfect to place in the drawer when you're not using it. Also, there's two types of machines that Bernina makes that they need to be oiled in the hook area. And I'm going to demonstrate those quick area, quick way to oil them first, and then I'll go a more complete way second. So the first model is one that all the parts do not come out of the hook area. What you want to do is you want to rotate the needle down to just above the foot and you'll find a notch over on the left hand side over in this area and you just put a drip of oil that was way too much one drip of oil over on the left hand side and that's a that will take care of this type of machine there's a close-up here on the picture the tip of the yellow shows a little notch cut out right here and that's what you want to look for and you want to put the oil in that area this is the hardest machine to find where the oil goes. The next type of machine is one where the bobbin and the hook and everything will can be removed. When this machine is turned off or and the machine's in the upper position, you just reach in here and put a drip of oil in this little slot area below the, the hook and bobbin, and that will get the oil in the right place. That's the quick, easy way of oiling these machines. And you should notice instantly uh, a better sound in your sewing. Next, let's do the more complete route of oiling these machines. So on the machine that where the hook and area doesn't all come apart, we're going to oil it from the top. We're going to lift up the presser foot, remove the presser foot, remove the needle, push down on the presser plate to remove the presser plate, there's almost always going to be lint in this area, so you want to clean the lint from the thread out. And then you're going to rotate the machine handle towards you until you see these two pointy little V-shaped items. And then rotate it back, and over here you see a little piece of metal protruding out, and the hook rides around this circular piece of metal and it has a little tip on there. So you're going to want to put your oil on the tip of that protruding piece of metal. Now gravity will get oil going all the way around that hook and you will be good to go. Also while it's open, remove any lint with the brush. One trick to getting to this is tilting the machine back, maybe put a spool of thread underneath there to hold it tilted back. On the type of machine that the entire area comes apart underneath, you want to remove the bobbin case, push on a lever on the left hand side to open up this metal holder, and pull out the metal hook. This is the hook area, and this is where the oil has to end up getting to. I like to place a little drip of oil on this, and the oil we use, we want to want oil right in this slot area right here so when it's all opened up it's easy to see that and since it's tilted back it's easy to reassemble we're going to put that hook in that slot fiddle around to where it's nice and flush snap the holder back in place make sure that snap is attached really well because if it's not it'll just take two stitches and fall all apart and then replace your bobbin case and bobbin. Trim your thread and you're ready to sew. I like to sew on a little scrap piece of fabric for
for a few inches to get any excess oil so it doesn't end up on my nice expensive project. Um, I sell this perfect oil at uh, $8 plus shipping, $2 shipping. The yellow top is for normal machines. The red top is for the new 7 and 8 series machines. Thank you very much.